Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hi, this is the heads up to this five minute quickie. And it's all about how to do the first step that will allow you to get your goals, to get your outcomes, to get your dreams. It's so simple and it's definitely one that you're going to need to use or want to use and enjoy using. Have a listen. Personal, personal development, personal development, um, development um, plugged, um, plugged, um, plugged, um, plugged, plugged. You only get out what you put in. Is that true? It's an old wives' tale, and if you know an old wife, probably she'll tell you the same thing. But it's sort of right, I believe. Sort of right. Because obviously you've got to put things in to get things out. There's no free lunch in this world. But it's how you put things in. I don't think it's uh, like the equivalent of if you put this amount of effort in, you'll get this amount of return. Because as you know, we like to put ideally the least amount of effort for the maximum amount of return so we can really focus what we want. And you see, this time of year, I'm recording this uh, around about just coming up to the new year, and we tend to make these wonderful plans, you know, these New Year's resolutions, and they fail. Invariably, they fail. And we have to ask ourselves, why do they fail? And one of the reasons is because they're not really thought through. They're not very specific. They're so general. You know, I want to lose weight. I want to stop smoking. I want to stop drinking. You know, uh, I'm not going to eat there. Whatever. They're just so general. And I think we need to change those goals. But also, let's just think. If we're going to have a goal like this, and it doesn't have to be a New Year's resolution, I think this is any time, any day that you decide with a goal, an outcome in mind, you've got to accept in some way, first of all, the failure of not having it. Because I know I really want you to get your dreams. I want you to get these outcomes. But also, we've got to realise that there was, if you want to call it failures, that's what we had. Because we haven't got what we want. And now in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is one of the presuppositions is there's no such thing as failure. They're just outcomes. And we can learn by those results. It's just a result. Nothing more than that. So we have to accept the results that we got in the past. They just weren't the results we wanted. And it wasn't, well, probably, you put a lot of effort into it. But we're not learning from it. And that's what I think we need to do. So we don't just accept those results. We just need to more, or more importantly, just acknowledge them. Because when we acknowledge them, we can then learn them. Or learn from them, that's a better way to put it, Paul. And when we learn from them, we can use those learnings to really get our goals and dreams. So this little five-minute podcast, and I'm going to spend more time on a longer podcast, but I want you to think, let's be specific about our goal. You know, there's this old acronym, SMART. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timed. Even if you just go through one of your goals and just see if it applies to that and and make sure it does it gives you a good start and one of the things is i know i like to say you know act with massive intuitive action and the massive is like the energy the energy you put into it but i want you to put loads of energy into a small thing now why the hell would you do that paul well you see i've been thinking going i I looked at the gym trying to get healthy trying to get fit And going to the gym and applying yourself on the the rower for half an hour, three quarters an hour, then get on the bike. And I've seen these people run and run and run and run. And yeah, they are getting fitter. They are getting healthier, but they're spending so much time doing it. They are getting their results, but I believe they can get the results quicker and easier. And there's this thing called, I think it's called Tabata training, which is also high intensity interval training they're sort of interlinked i'm sure if you're a sportsman you're going to say oh they're not it but they're similar paul they are come on they are and what it means is you you apply a very a small time 
but you have a maximum effort. So it's like small, intense, and then rest. Small, intense, and then rest. And it's scientifically proven now that in the gym, when people do this regularly, their, their results increase phenomenally. This is what it is. Phenomenally. And it's brilliant. And you can do it quicker because you don't have to spend hours in the gym. It's like 20 minutes. If you can do 20 minutes of that high intensity training, man, you are fit. And it works so well. And I thought to myself, let's, let's apply this. Apply this to our goals. Because that means we're in, in control. We don't get this overwhelm. And that's the whole thing. Overwhelm and procrastination. Overwhelm means, oh, there's so much to do. And there's, because there's so much to do, I've got to do this and that and that and that. I'm going to procrastinate. I'm going to find something that's so much more important to do, like clean the cup or do my desk or, oh, look, my cuff needs a, a bit of an iron and things like that. And because it's such a small step that we're going to, going to choose, there cannot be any overwhelm. There cannot be any procrastination on that because you know your outcome, you've got your goal, you know everything about it, and all I'm going to do is this one small thing. And the only thing I think you need to do just before you do that, obviously you state your goal, is you just need to get your, your, out, get your outcome, set your intention, and then set your state, the most appropriate state to do this small goal, because it this small step rather, because each one, each small step will have a different uh, state, a different emotion that will really charge this step that you want to and put all your energy into it. And what I've done is I've produced a sort of hypnosis track of how you can set your state, how you can go back and set your state and then use it. So and what will happen is you can go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. There's all my other hypnosis tracks there. They're all free. And there'll also be one for setting your state. And that means you can learn how to do this yourself. You can use the hypnosis track for as many times as you want. If you're, if you're lazy like me, let someone like me do it for you. But after a while, you can do it just like that. I might even add on that quick NLP technique which I've put in the hypnosis, as just a, a little verbal auditory thing that you can just follow really quickly and you'll learn it so well. So that's it, paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. It'll be there for you, but this is what we're going to do here to get our goals, state our goal, get it smarter. That's an easy way of doing it. And then decide on that one small step, set our intention, set our state, and then do the step and then rest. Wow. I'm going to speak more on this because I think it's so important for you to get your dreams. And then you don't need to, you know, all those people who you sometimes say, oh, you're, 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 you're going for the, for the, going for the clouds, is it? I don't know what, what's, what statement, what would they say? But, you know, they think you're above your station. Who are you to, uh, to, to want all these wonderful things for yourself? Well, you're going to show them. You're going to be the, the shining example you're going to be the change that you want to be and be the change that you want to see in others. And then you'll, well, can't say any more, really, can I? Anyway, have a good think about that. Think of your goals. Let's start getting them into a format that we can use. Hit them with a lot of energy, small baby steps. Set your intention, set your state. Yay. Anyway, I want to talk more. Please let me know how you get on with this. And if there's any questions you have, just... um send me an email, paul at paulclough.co.uk. Okay, see you soon. Have more fun. Oh, I'm also on Twitter and all that stuff. So P. Cluffy, at P. Cluffy, that's the Twitter one. Have fun. Bye-bye now. Live with more passion that you can have in your life. Bye-bye now. And before you go, and this is a different before you go, I just wanted to give you another heads up that I have another program on paulcloughonline.com it's all about supreme inner confidence and well regaining your supreme inner confidence your esteem so you have high self-esteem supreme inner confidence and well you know tackle the world with that wonderful set of resources that enable you to get whatever you want it's a six-part 
program. I think it's brilliant. It's got some wonderful hypnosis tracks in there, processes that you won't find anywhere else. I, I think it's good. That added to the Free Your Life of Anxiety program. That's there too. There's more hypnosis tracks, creating your inner sanctuary, deep relaxation. Yeah, and there's also, here's that thing. If you go there and have a read, anyway, have a read if you would. Cost you nothing, money back guarantee on everything. And it is a sponsor, as it were, for this this podcast. Have a read. And then also, once you've had a read, just put forward slash podcast and you can sign up to loads of free hypnosis as I do them. All the ones I talk about in the podcast, they'll come to you online anyway. In Drop into your email box and then you can collect them and they'll be like a back catalogue. So it's all good stuff. And do remember, please, please, please do share this with as many people as you can. Your friends, your not so much friends, anybody, because, you know, they may be having issues and we do want to help everyone. Because when everyone is, well, just feeling good, the whole world feels better. And if you would, please do go to iTunes and put a, a nice review on there. It just helps the show going from strength to strength. Uh, That's what it's all about, isn't it? Let's grow a community. A community for good, selfless service and doing the best we can. Creating the world we all want to live in. Anyway, that was this new sort of heads up on a ending. Okay, enjoy. Have more fun than you can stand. And as usual, enjoy every heartbeat. Personal. Personal development. Personal development. Unplugged. 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 Unplugged.